John, here we are in the sunshine in Portugal again, and the good news is you're with the club for another year, which I presume is good news for all parties. Yes, yeah, fantastic. I, I'm, I'm very excited about it, and it was a no-brainer for me to, to stay here. Um, I, I'm very happy, and the family is really happy. <coughs> and I just, you know, I'm raring to go. You know, I want to try to stay fit now. <laughs> with all these injuries I've had, so um, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited about it all. I know you've only been at the club 18 months, but you feel like a real part of the, the setup because of the way you've approached it, which, which has been great. And I know you've said before, this feels like your club, so, so to be extending that relationship must be nice. Yeah, no, like I said, I, I love it here. And I, you know, I feel like I owe the club. Every time I'm on the pitch, I want to perform for the fans and, and for the club itself, I want to help do my best to help the club progress further. You know, I feel like there's so much potential for the club to to uh, get higher up the, the tables and uh, promote and stuff. So I feel like the good things going on and I, I'm just really happy to be a part of that all. The frustrating thing was that you, you, you're playing, time was put on hold for a little bit, the back end of last season, which was frustrating for the team, must have been even more so for yourself. Yeah, it was tough mentally mainly because um, I haven't I hadn't I've been fairly lucky with injuries in my career so far and I'd never had a surgery for example in my career before so that was a new kind of thing for me to deal with um, and I still remember when Mark told me over the phone like um, how long the injury was going to be and he said till the end of the season I was I was yeah I just wanted to cry almost but um that's part of being a football player, you know, injuries come along and fortunately it wasn't longer, uh, but it was especially hard during the last bit of last season because I was back out there the last two weeks of the, um, before the season ended with the team, but obviously Matt's fitness was a factor and uh, it wasn't possible for me to, you know, be for the last game especially, so it was, it was really tough being on the sidelines and watching games, so I definitely know how fans feel now. For sure. But like Jack, really, you, you both had this hope and target perhaps might make it back for the playoff final and, and, and it wasn't quite to be. And of course, you both missed Wembley, which must have been tough, although you were there on the day and, and supporting the team. Yeah, it was bittersweet. Like with the Papa John's final, I was really happy for everyone involved in the club and the fans. But it, it, you were just left with that feeling, but I didn't do anything. I was just in my suit, you know, cheering the lads on. Um, so yeah, it was hard, like I said. And then obviously against Barnsley, I wasn't really, I was just still a spectator. But I was, you know, you don't have time to feel sorry for yourself. That's just how it is. And um, I'm back fit again now. And um, I'm hoping just to stay fit this this uh, season. But before the injury, in I think the game before before, you scored the winner against Portsmouth in the Papa John's Trophy, so you did play a, a, an important part in the run. Yeah. And you know, you, you were scoring goals and in form uh, at that moment you went out the side. Yeah, and I think it's important to remind yourself of that as yeah. well, like especially at the time. Um, you know, me and Jack were, were quite a lot together in the gym uh, with the physios and working, working together because of our injuries and I think we mentioned it like, yeah, you know, we did our job as well to help yeah. the team, to, especially in the Papa John's Cup. So, um, yeah, you need to look at that way as well, you know, to find the positives. And, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm just looking forward, you know, to, to have a hopefully a full season uh, fit. Yeah. So you are fit. That's that's a great news. Pre-season will be tough for anybody, of course, though it is. And uh, I know you're working hard out here. Yeah, the gaffer and the, the coaching staff are certainly, certainly working as hard out there for sure. Um, but that's what you need, isn't it? Um, it's really tough. I feel like the team is really working hard together right now. The, the camaraderie is really good and the team morale is good. And, you know, from the first meeting on the first day, you know, we were all, um, we all agreed upon a common goal, which is, you know, we want to be up there. We want to try to push hopefully for promotion, that's, you know, that's just a fact. And we know there's, that with that comes added pressure, but, you know, I think a group, especially from last season experience, um, 
has become more experienced now and, and the young players are a year older now as well. So I feel like there's good things ahead. Um, but you know, words are words are easy to say, and action is harder. So um, that's something we need to, uh, how do you say, uh, think about. I mentioned it to Vic yesterday, and the managers sort of said back in the last season that we were just short of a few goals. You know, there's no hiding away from that. Everybody's um, sort of owned that, for want of a better phrase. So the strikers all know they have to step up again this year. I mean, everyone will be doing their absolute best. So I'm sure you're itching to play your part and, and, and get that goal output up. Yeah, no, I think it's a fact that, especially if you're going to try to push for promotion, that you need to have, you know, players that are scoring goals. And, um, you know, this, I think we can score more goals um, this season, hopefully. And that's, you know, that happens on the training pitch, doesn't it? We have yeah. to work together and, you know, they talk about goalkeeper unions. There's, there's a striker union here as well. Yes, Everyone's, I mentioned that, Devik. You, you still got your you rivals yeah. but friends. Yeah, and there's a good, like, good morale going. Everyone's helping each other, you know. For, for example, there was a position-specific training yesterday. You know, strikers were together and I think that was really important just to you know, get to know each other even more and uh, train well and, and motivate each other. And I think because this season, this coming season, everyone's going to be needed, mm. um, no matter if you're in the starting 11 or on the bench or even out of the squad. Mm. Um, you know, that's the morale and every the camaraderie is very, very important. And I think, you know, we've been working on it now from day one. So mm. it's very positive. But equally, you look at the CV of all the strikers at the clubs, and, and there are goals there. There's no two ways about it. So I, I think that you know we've got that reassurance, or proven goal scorers, certainly at this level and beyond it. So I'm sure the goals are going to come. Oh yeah, for sure. That you, you need to have confidence in yourself. Like I believe in myself, and the, the other lads do it as well. It's just about getting that rhythm going and momentum. Mm -hmm. That's just how center for, the position of a centre forward is. You know, you score that first goal, and then you score the second, and all of a sudden it's. Like the catch-up effect, you know, it, it just flows, and uh, that's what we're looking for, you know. And it, it all starts on the training ground, and then you have to move it in and into the real deal, which is the upcoming season. And uh, I feel like I feel confident, and mainly main thing for me now is just getting the match fitness going yeah. again with the pre-season friendlies and. Yeah and build up the confidence from there, so I'll be ready for the upcoming season. Yeah, and what will it mean to you to, to run out again at, at the stadium with the big crowd in and be back at the, uh, at the cutting edge? I can't wait, mm. for sure.